This is how I make $100 a day cleaning trash cans. Recently, I made a video documenting my first 30 days in business as a mobile trash can cleaner, and at this point, I'm convinced this side hustle is a cheat code. I've accumulated over 15 can cleaning jobs so far, and the level of ease only seems to have gone up. With my marketing strategy on Facebook, I find myself filling most days with can cleaning, which you might expect and might not expect at the same time. The positive side is that everyone has a trash can and even multiple. This is why I charge more for the first one and less for any additional cans. This creates an incentive for my customers to get more clean as they feel like they're saving money in case they like the first one and have to have me come out again for another 25. Running this business has been significantly easier since I started using Quote IQ. highly recommend it. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, then check out Quote IQ. It's going to be the first link in the comment section as well as the description. If you're a new business owner, this is the app that you need. It probably sounds crazy like, no way, man, how can you even make $100 a day cleaning trash cans? Why would people even want to get their trash cans clean? This is probably the most common question I get. The answer is that you are creating a convenience for the customer and all people want in their day-to-day -day is more convenience. When you do things that solve problems for other people, that's where the money flow comes in. Like I've said in previous videos, you truly cannot go wrong when cleaning trash cans, whether you go over the top or you take a minimal approach. Even as you've seen in this footage, I'm probably the only person on YouTube who's ever used a foam cannon on a trash can. But I believe the reason I've been successful in this space so far is that I know my selling points is in what issues I'm solving for the customers. This consists of just letting the customer know that I'm mobile and I will come to them. I use chemicals to guarantee a full cleaning with the actual value and I reaffirm them that the cleaning works with a fabuloso finisher to make it all smell good. This is kind of like when they say people are visual learners. Well, the perfume smell coming out of the can at the end is guaranteed to get you a tip just because it proves to the customer that it was absolutely washed from top to bottom. Another reason I believe cleaning trash cans has been so profitable for me is because I have a foolproof process and plan for every single customer. First, I always assess the cans, rinse them off with the pressure from the water, treat the can with my chemicals, rinse it again to clear off the chemical, foam can it a wash, and then finally I finish with the Fabuloso. A big part of can cleaning is also the safety aspect because my first couple of jobs, I didn't wear any mouth or eye cover and the chemicals got me lightheaded and the bleach was stinging a little in my eyes. I would highly recommend just taking some simple safety precautions as some of these things could have long lasting effects. At this point, you should have the customer sold on the fact that they need this cleaning you have your process to make sure you get the job done, which is more than likely going to result in a tip. And your final piece is your consistency. In order to make everything that we've said in this video so far happen, you have to consistently market for jobs. Develop yourself a strategy using sites or apps that people might search for services on. I will personally have a video out soon in the way that I market for these jobs. But listen, just take the action every day to find these customers. I can almost promise you that your first job is going to lead to your second job and then to your third job. There's plenty of people that know plenty of people with plenty of dirty, smelly trash cans. Whether you decide to ask door to door or doing flyers if you want to fill every day with a can cleaning to make your hundred to two hundred dollars a day you need to market every single day as well the easiest way for me to put this and the reason you need to start doing trash can cleanings is because it's going to save you time and make you more money this cleaning you're watching took me no more than 35 minutes to do and i even have a very over the top cleaning strategy if i haven't sold you on how easy and simple this side hustle is then i think you've been watching the wrong video but if this has been the right video for you and you're hungry to make more money do me a favor and hit that like button as well as follow for more ways to make money doing side hustles if you've made it this far in the video, congratulations, comment down below stanky and you might have an appearance in one of the channel's shorts.